Hi, welcome to Prophetic Voice today. I'm so glad that you were able to join us um, for the next three, three and a half minutes. And I'm sure that God will not uh, disappoint you. You're going to be surprised of what God is about to do with you. Listen, when you feel disappointed, I always, um, this is always ministered to me in my life. God has always turned all my disappointments into his appointments. And I believe it's the same with you today. So hang on for the next three minutes and I believe God has something for you. So let's look at what God wants to say now from the word of God. I'm reading from Acts chapter 1 from verse um, 6 to 8. The Bible says, Therefore when they had come together, they asked him, saying, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom to Israel? And he said to them, It is not for you to know times or seasons which the Father has put in his own authority, but you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the end of the earth. Listen, the disciples of Jesus asked the Lord, Lord, when will you restore the kingdom to Israel? The Lord Jesus said, the Lord Jesus said, it is not for you to know the times or the seasons because it is in the Father's authority and it is, it is the Father who brings restoration. But Jesus didn't just stop there. The Lord said, but, I thank God for that but word there, you know, because God said, but you shall receive power. Hallelujah. But you shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Listen, restoration is not an activity that happens from the outward circumstance. Restoration is not something that somebody does for you. Restoration begins when the Holy Spirit takes residence inside of you and me. Hallelujah. So Jesus said, but you shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. So when we allow the Holy Spirit to reside inside of us, we will be restored. In other words, reinstated to the original position or the condition to which God created us. Listen, when you allow and welcome the Holy Spirit to take residence inside of your life and allow the Holy Spirit to come upon you, there is a power of restoration that begins to flow out of you. You know, Jesus said, out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. Hallelujah. So when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, you become a channel of restoration. When you speak in tongues, there is this power of restoration. The power of God that restores everything begins to flow out of you, to your family, to your friends, and even in your life. It impacts everywhere the restoration power of God flows. And the, the power of restoration begins when the Holy Spirit begins to reside inside of you and flow out of you. Why don't you just make a commitment uh, this morning? that we will be the channels of restoration. We will allow the Holy Spirit to take residence inside of us. Can I just repeat the scripture one more time? Disciples said, Lord, when are you going to restore these things to Israel? Jesus said, it is not for you to know, but you shall receive the power. That power of restoration comes inside of you when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. Let's pray that the Holy Spirit visits us. He's not in it. He is a person and when you ask God the Holy Spirit to visit you, things are going to change. You'll never be the same again. Let me just pray with you right now. Father in heaven right now as I stretch my hands towards the viewers, even as they are connecting to me and coming in agreement with this video, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus, the power of restoration will begin to flow. The power of restoration, the recreation happens when the Holy Spirit begins to come upon our lives. Holy Spirit of God, I ask you right now, come upon our lives. Holy Spirit of God, upon that viewer who's watching right now, let your hand come upon them and everything that the enemy destroyed, let it be restored in the mighty name of Jesus. And I and I sense this power of God restoring. And I see right now, uh, you, you are a lady who's watching this. You had big dreams about your marriage and you you you, you thought everything is going to go according to as you expected but things have taken a turn things that you thought will work out has not worked out and right now you're sitting under and unbound under a spirit of disappointment right now i command the spirit of disappointment come out of her in the mighty name of jesus and lord we pray right now the spirit of restoration the holy spirit of god is visiting you my dear sister lord let your spirit come upon everyone watching this this video right now and let restoration begin in their families 
in their careers, in their marriages, in their jobs and we declare that Jesus Christ is Lord. No more dominion of the devil, dominion of Jesus, the Lordship of Jesus. We declare it over your life in Jesus mighty name. Amen. Be blessed. Um, I'm sure um, this video has really blessed you and uh, I'd like to hear from you. Uh, tune in to the same channel next week. You can also subscribe by clicking on the prophetic voice today subscription button below in YouTube and you'll be getting more of a weekly videos like this. God bless you. Have an empowered restored week ahead in Jesus name. Amen.